Hey folks, today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on another of my favorite films. This movie wasn't actually on my radar for an upcoming review, but my brother happened to be watching it a couple weeks ago, and I walked by and saw that it was on, and I said to myself, I'll just stay until this part. And then that part came, and I said, okay, I'll stay until this part. Turns out, I just couldn't tear myself away, and that's how I knew how much I love this movie. <laughs> the movie is Lara, an 88-minute film noir from 1944, directed by Otto Preminger and starring Jean Tierney and Dana Andrews, with supporting roles from Clifton Webb, Vincent Price, and Judith Anderson. It's a mystery in which a New York detective is called in to investigate the murder of Lara Hunt, a beautiful socialite and advertising executive. As he questions Lara's friends and begins forming an idea of her in his mind, the detective finds himself strangely drawn to her. Then, partway through an investigation that's becoming too personal, a shocking revelation changes everything. Giving a plot synopsis for this one is tricky. This is a story that has two twists, one which happens in the middle of the movie, and because I'm hoping that those of you who haven't seen it yet will do so, I'm avoiding spoilers, and I ask commenters to do the same. Unfortunately, that means that there's a whole chunk of the movie I can't talk about, which is really frustrating. <laughs> Like a lot of other favorites of mine, this is a movie that has a little bit of everything. Suspense, romance, clever wit. It takes you through a full range of emotions, and David Raxon's famous title song in the background, with its haunting melody, conveys a perfect sense of mystery and longing. And then there's the cast. First of all, Jean Tierney as Lara. We see Lara in flashbacks as this glamorous, unattainable ideal, a woman who's able to allure even from the grave, and it's so fitting to me that she's played by Jean Tierney, who I consider one of old Hollywood's most strikingly beautiful actresses. Her Lara is independent, but with an appealing vulnerability. We wonder, was she a femme fatale, or just a helpless victim? The way Tierney plays her makes anything a possibility, and keeps us guessing. Playing hard-boiled detective Mark McPherson is Dana Andrews, who I don't generally think of as one of my favorite actors, but I always like him. McPherson is a working-class city cop who clashes with the snobby upper-class types involved in this murder case. He's apathetic about pretty much everything, which makes it all the more fascinating when he gets too involved and starts losing his cool. He's frustrated but persistent, and it's a subtly intense performance. In case you're wondering, Jean Tierney and Dana Andrews co-starred in a couple other movies, 1948's The Iron Curtain and 1950's Where the Sidewalk Ends. I've seen Where the Sidewalk Ends. It's good, also a noir, but a little darker and grittier than this movie. Judith Anderson gets a fabulous scene with Lara in which she bluntly lays everything out, all the dirt on everyone. It's a speech packed with information and revelations, so effortlessly delivered, and I love it. And there's young Vincent Price. This was actually his 13th film, but one of his first prominent roles as a southern charmer of dubious moral integrity. I like many of Price's famous horror films, but I do enjoy seeing him in these earlier dramatic roles before he became the horror icon, and this is one of his best. By the way, he also co-starred with Tierney in a couple other films. I know I've mentioned these before. 1945's Leave Her to Heaven, a scrumptious technicolor thriller in which Jean Tierney is undoubtedly a femme fatale, and 1946's Dragonwick, an eerie gothic story in which Tierney and Price's characters have a doomed romance. But in a film with several memorable characters, it's perhaps Clifton Webb's Waldo Lidecker who sticks the most. He's that guy who always has something critical and sarcastic to say about everything, and that makes him really unlikable, yet at the same time, he's so sharp and witty that he's just so entertaining to have around, even if everybody hates him. Clifton Webb is uncannily good at portraying this character. This was a comeback performance for him, for which he received an Oscar nomination. Now, when I do these videos where I share my thoughts on a movie I love, I like to tell you about a couple favorite scenes. Unfortunately, two of my favorite scenes in this movie are ones that I can't go into much detail about, but I will tell you 
a little bit about them. One is a famous scene in an interrogation room. If you've seen the movie, then I'm sure you know what I'm referring to. It's filled with tension and has an amazing use of lighting. This is actually a scene that I saw before I saw the movie, and it really made me want to see more. I've watched the clip on its own several times. I love it. Another is a scene that I don't think I would have said was a favorite before, but this last time I saw it, it really stuck out to me, and that's a scene in which someone gets punched. <laughs> of course, in real life, violence is not the answer, but do you ever find yourself watching a movie and wishing that someone would punch somebody else who's being a jerk, and then someone does it, and it's like the most satisfying thing? Well, that happens. Lara is a classic that's still popular and highly regarded today, a riveting whodunit about obsession and jealousy that stands up well to repeated viewings. Check it out for the twists and turns, the rapid-fire dialogue, the characters, and the captivating visuals. I definitely recommend it. I'd love to hear your opinion if you've seen it, just no spoilers, please. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching! Bye.